One Piece Nation here today with my review of Boruto episode 12. And I, you know, I didn't enjoy the episode very much, to be honest. It was very just basic. Like, it, it was pretty, it was like, it was giving a hint to, to what's going on. But because of how life double life Boruto is, it wasn't like the awe, like, it wasn't like epic, really cool moment hint. A lot of stuff like, I guess you could say in Shippuden, where we saw Toby's shot and gone. And we were like, Toby had a shot and gone, and he like showed up and like used his moderate voice. And he like commoid away during the Sasuke and Itachi arc. It wasn't cool epic reveals like that. Or like Itachi showing up and be like, I'm the man that murdered the Uchiha clan. No, it was more like hinting toward one thing in day to day conversation. And it was interesting. But before we get into the review, I want to talk. About Uchiha, about uh, all these characters like Denki, Awabe, and the Clack Rap. Alright. Awabe, I don't know. But Denki and the Clack Rep, my theory as to why they're not involved later on, is because they don't become ninja. And they, they, they took the classes, like the ninja courses, but I feel like maybe Denki could go into like technology. Maybe Denki will go on a single mission and just be like, you know what, just, we'll try to be a ninja and then by the, by the time the movie comes around, he'll have already decided it isn't for me. And then they'll just become these little, like, civilian friends of Boruto that Boruto can hang out with in, like, filler episodes. Awabe? I don't know. I have a theory Awabe may go rogue. Maybe. Like, one. Maybe he'll just... Maybe he'll go rogue or something on your throwing up ideas. And that's why he wasn't there in the Boruto movie. That's why nobody talked about him. Because he's a, he's a store spot. Because unlike Naruto and Sakura, none of them are, are obsessed with Iwa, Iwabe. But they they do kind of, you know, he was their friend. And they don't want to, he was their friend. And it's a store spot for them. So they don't talk about how he went rogue. I could definitely see Iwabe dying on mission. And then Denki and Clack Rap just being like... Civilian. Maybe Denki could be a mailman. Denki the mailman and the clack rep could be a water purifier. Maybe that's the why they chose those jobs. I don't know. But after the episode itself. And I like that mostly just hints. I didn't like the way they were doing the hints either. But it, it just it made it so obvious that the clack rep was the person behind the Mac. I'm like, if it isn't her, I will be blown away. Now, Mishki reveals he knows who it is. And, and, and we do get to see more Naruto and Boruto collection. And I think this is the kind of stuff we needed. Because I say, I say it is one thing for Naruto to choose to work over his family. But to come home, get Himawari excited that he's going to have dinner. That she's going to, to have dinner with her daddy. And then spit in all of their faces by saying bye. Before you were even halfway through through the meal, it's just no. Like, I, 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 I understand Naruto, why he does what he does. I do. I get it. I ha I do not agree with Boruto's treatment of him, but I do, to an extent, think he needs to be a little bit more, if you're going to commit to having dinner with, with your family one night, when you get into that house, you are no longer the Hokage, you are a father. Of course, there are exceptions in it. Like, it's like a tale of, like, you know, like somebody like Obito attacks the villain and, like, take, and, like, even Kakashi, Kakashi and Sakura. Like, if somebody attacks the villain, he just calls Sakura and be like, yo, I'm having dinner with my family. Can you and Kakashi Sensei handle this? They would be like, yeah, we can handle it. And then if some off chance two Kaya level Shinobi lose, then Naruto can be like, yo, guy, like, Sakura and Kakashi are dead. I really should do something about this. And he could go in and handle it. But they're like, they're Tsunade, they're Kakashi, they're Sakura, they're Shikamaru. There are other people that hold, that have the intelligence and power to handle things while he spends like a night with his family once in a while. So I do believe that the fact that he didn't commit to what he said he was going to commit to is a little, I can see why that would upset people. Didn't really bother me tremendously, but I do see why I would piss Boruto off. And... 
Yeah, so both to get mad. And most of the episode is just Mickey wondering why he did things. Like, you know, with the time after guy, he didn't understand why he helped Denki. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to understand the concept of camaraderie. And Steven Shikata, like, because if you had it, you would have abandoned your teammates and your comrades. And that's wrong. Like, that's not morally okay. Sorry about the air conditioner, by the way. It's really hot in here. But, yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, I don't actually have much else to say on this. I want, I, I'm probably, I'm gonna be doing a, a prediction video at some point about, uh, the next episode. Be like, some theories for that. Let me just say, the next episode looks really good. Maybe we'll get to see some Naruto action, but that's for the episode 13 prediction. Um, here we're getting a new ending, as I mentioned last week. That is very exciting. Also, quick update, um, Reason there weren't any videos this week was because I'm dealing with some copyright issues right now, and I was dealing with that, and, and, and I was relaxing and dealing with that. But, doing my summer and dealing with copyright issues. But I'm good now. There's a certain video I spent like hours on, and I, I can't put it up for like another month, so that depressed me. But after that, it, I will be doing Let's Talk About Kawina pretty soon. Okay, have a good day, guys. This is One Piece Nation signing out.